hey guys welcome back to my channel i hope you all are having a fantastic day okay let's talk about the importance of father figure during pregnancy when a woman is pregnant it's important for the man to be there for her because the man is supposed to nurture the woman while the woman nurtures the baby whatever happens to the woman she transfers it to the baby and the baby feel, the baby feels it if the woman is stressed the baby feels it if the woman is happy the baby feels it let's watch this video all the right conditions are set the mother and the father are eating properly and the father has to nurture the mother or else his emotional growth and development is hampered forever these are things required by nature you see so that has to occur and and they're eating properly and not, they're doing things you know he's nurturing her and writing her poems done, walking sure. with her singing to her massaging her all these things are supposed to be done to set up them on the right frequency to nurture the child that's mm -hmm. part of his growth and development emotionally get ready for the child mm -hmm. he has to do this so and that's not done then the person the child is dysfunctional forever this is the way nature plays these rules mm -hmm. so what they're doing is using this infantilism they know that sugar is associated with love and affection they know that smoothie tasting food is associated with nurturing or the inability to receive the proper nurturing the junk food industry has junk the emotions so they know how to pip off the junk that they have done mm -hmm. so they, they actually make you dysfunctional and then they profit off your dysfunctionality right that's why a lot of people like creamy ice cream at night because they lack nurturing they want to chew on something because they're trying to release the tension and stress they want to cr crunch something because they're frustrated they want salt because they anger they want sugar because they lack love and affection it's all around okay i'm pretty sure we heard him if the father figure is not there during pregnancy most of the time according to the man it leads to the dysfunctional kid the junk company according to him they understand this whole strategy so they are using it to milk the people since these kids are already dis dysfunctional they are providing sugar for them things that would make them cop that um, cravings for um nurturing you get let's hear what the next speaker has to say while the mother is pregnant it is the husband's role to help her and support her and assist her and be there for her for the mother's stress and her depression and her anxieties and how she feels directly affects the baby that is in her womb. If she's happy, the child's happy. If she's stressed, the, father, the child is stressed, subhanAllah, the baby, the fetus. What she eats goes into the baby and it takes also hormones that are secreted. So if she's got serotonin, which is happy hormone, the child, the baby has it as well. If it's stress hormones, the baby also gets it, subhanAllah. So brothers and sisters, be very careful of that. So it's important for a man to be there for a woman during pregnancy. The man is supposed to pamper the woman. Just be there. Just make the woman feel, feel good because whatever she feels, she transfers to the baby. I already said that. I don't know why men would impregnate someone and then leave the person to go through the pregnancy themselves. Pregnancy is very tough it's the toughest moment in any woman's life i don't know what other tough tough moments people do experience but generally i feel like pregnancy is the toughest moment in any woman's life it's hard it's really hard you watch your body change your cravings it's really hard it takes someone that loves you to be by your side so women you have to be very careful i know a lot of people are into the baby mama culture they really don't care they just want to have their own baby but you have to be careful don't think about yourself alone also think about the child you're bringing into this world it's good for us to also con consider the, the kids that we're bringing into this world let's watch what this person has to say being pregnant is not a disability mm. but it can be so traumatic and it's nine months don't forget and you get the couple of months initially for some women where you get morning sickness but for some it lasts the entire nine months terrible the, the headaches the then your body the stretch marks that you get hmm. from it the giving birth experience your body changes no book no podcast no friends experience because you could give birth and it could be completely different how you do and i do hmm. you know as women Black women, we got to stop having children with men that are not committed to us. I would rather jump in a pool of tasers than ever be able to be called somebody's baby mama. Ever. Do you know how dangerous pregnancy is? Have y'all not seen the lady with the list? It has over 200 things that could happen to you. They don't tell you. Would you, do you really want to have hypervast scavardium where you can't stop throwing up? You throw up so much that you start losing teeth, losing hair. For a nigga that's not even your boyfriend? Hmm? 
your husband this man has put nothing on it not a ring on it not a down payment on a house not a down payment on a car nothing and you just gave him a whole legacy when you birth a child for a man you're giving him a legacy you are carrying his genes and his name on y'all won't get married but you'll be literally tied to a person forever through a child it makes no sense what do you guys think about that i think she makes a whole lot of sense because giving birth for your man man starts you are giving him a legacy you're building his lineage for him and i don't think pregnancy is something that anyone should go through by herself it's hard it's tough so if something is as hard as that if something is so tough why would you do it for someone that that doesn't deserve it like i said some women would say they just want to have a baby their baby they don't care if the father is there or not but when you do that you also have to consider the the, the baby you're bringing in bringing in into this world as well kids they grow better in in a loving environment they they function better in a family unit if you know what i mean but you know it's not it's not a lot of people's fault because human beings we always be human beings people will, people will definitely misbehave and that's why we have some dis dysfunctional uh, marriages out there some people don't get married because they want to get divorced unforeseen circumstances led to that so i'm not even going to blame anybody if you get what i mean but if you can please avoid giving birth for men that are irresponsible avoid getting pregnant for men that will not be there for their kids let's hear what this last speaker has to say i couldn't even love somebody that couldn't do nothing for me i'd be disgusted every time i go home and look at him you broke now ladies okay this is also a message that i agree with now i've said it before in some of my live shows okay i've said i cannot okay be sucking eggplant on an empty stomach and i firmly believe that a, a a man that watches you struggle does not really love you doesn't really care about you now we see a whole bunch of dudes who run around here okay and say well we don't do for women that we don't really care about we don't look out for women we don't really care about we don't take care of women that we don't really care about right because if a man really loves something he takes care of it if a man really values something he does what he needs to do to keep it okay so if a man will sit and watch you struggle he don't really give a fuck about you it's a fact Black women have been conditioned to kind of roll with the punches, to accept people and they struggle and to understand and be empathetic and all this, that, and the third, right? But the truth about it is this. You got all of these dudes who run around here and talk about how masculine black women are, okay? And one reason that I believe that they are seeing these uh, adverse effects that they don't really like is because due to their lacking, okay, black women have had to adapt and therefore do a lot in regards to looking out for our damn selves. The truth is a lot of these dudes are really not reliable. They're not dependable, okay? You can't really count on them. And a lot of them will sit and watch a woman struggle, okay? I tell dudes, if you are not going to be the dude who's gonna like look out for her, you don't really value her like that, leave her alone. Leave her alone because Taking her out of a place where she uh, has a soft place to land is now programming her to have to take on all of this masculine energy that they say they don't like. They're actually contributing to the problem that they say they don't like. A woman is at her best when she has no worries, okay? When she has no outside, you know, extreme stressors. When she's able to just chill and rest in security and stability, because I'm not going to say rest in her femininity. No, I'm going to say when she ha is able to rest in security and stability, okay? And she doesn't really have to think of how she going to make do, how she going to make some shape. When she got a man sitting right there next to her, that's when a woman is going to be at her best because when a woman is not focused on survival and how she's going to make things happen in her day to day she's able to actually cater um <laughs> she's actually able to cater to a, a, a man she's actually able you know to be more loving and be more open and be more soft and and be more you know uh relaxed OK, and therefore she's going to be more, you know, uh, accepting right of the male's energy.
actually a better word for that is receptive. She's going to be more receptive to a man's energy. Okay. Yama Van Zandt had this little video where she said, when women learn how to be better women, that's when men can be better men. When the truth is, when men are better men, that's when women can be better women, which in turn benefits him, okay, to be in a stress-free, non-confrontational, non-adversarial relationship with a woman. He needs to be the soft place for her to win. And then she's going to be able to shine in that environment. Okay, guys, I'm not going to say much on this video. I think they're all very much um, explanatory. So I would love you guys to let me know what you think about that. Do you think it's important for you to have um, the father figure during pregnancy? And if you don't have the father figure during during pregnancy, how then do you cope? How have you coped if you've been through this um this journey yourself the pregnancy journey yourself because i've seen people complain about how their baby fathers just abandon them once they want to get pregnant just ab the, the baby father stops speaking calls and abandons them and let's and just allow them go through that process themselves and all that it's torturing if you ask me it's wickedness if you ask me and that's why um, there was a video i made about the pregnant lady she said she's pregnant the second time for this man when she was pregnant for him the first time he abandoned her the man is back again in her life and she's pregnant again for, for, her, for him the second time and that was something we the viewers just could not understand to get and she was complaining and she spoke about her fears and all that so how do you handle things like this how do you cope let me know your thoughts in the comment section and um i'll see you guys in the next video just know that it's important to have the father of the baby of the baby with the mom during pregnancy it's important because however the woman feels she transmits it down to the baby in there because there's connection you have the umbilical cord and all that transmit everything down to the to um to the to the um, baby in there both stress happiness and all that and that helps in shaping the baby you heard the first speaker spoke about how if the father is not there if the father is not nurturing towards the mom it, it results to dysfunctional babies and this uh, um junk companies they they've they, they are leaning on that just to sell out their products because they know a lot of people are a lot of babies are dysfunctional and they use that to sell sugary things to people and all that the society knows what they're doing society is business the pharmaceutical industry a lot of things in the society is all about business so they will create the problem and act like they are solving the they are they, they have solution to, to the problem so we all have to be careful i'll see you guys in the next one let me know your thoughts in the comment section and please subscribe and like this video if you do bye, -bye.